We have entertainment that's going on at the old commercial bank in the grassy area. And then we have around 75 vendors with arts and crafts and businesses throughout the town. And then we have about 20 food trucks as well, along with drinks and ice cream and ices. And then we have also new this year, a whole kids area with a character artist that's free, hair extensions for little girls. We have face painting. It's the Honey Path Fall Festival, but we've always had the honey stopping with it. Used to, years ago, they used to have the honey stopping in May time period, but um, with everything has changed over time, we've I had it changed to this time of the year because we only had this one major festival other than July the 4th, and then on the July the 4th one, we have uh, fireworks and the fireworks show, so we don't do the honey stopping at that time. But hopefully coming in 2025, we're going back to the old schedule with the honey stopping and having a honey fest. Hopefully about April or May is what we're looking for. So we're trying to do a lot of outreach for the community, bringing in the community throughout the whole Honey Path area, bringing us closer together for more involvement for all of us. It's a special festival because I've been here through as a kid and now it's coordinating the festival. It's really special. Biggest thing about the festival this year is huge. It's one of the first one we've had is me being mayor that uh, all the vendor spots were full. Uh, the storm a couple weeks ago put a real big damper on it. Um, had some vendors back out and we condensed our fall festival to only Saturday from 11 to 7.30. But as you can see down on Main Street, the crowds here, there's a lot of vendors, a lot of food, a lot of crafts. Glad to give them something to come and do. We're just glad we were able to keep part of it and not have to cancel all of it. So we're just real happy. 